it's Jazz and this is Wildlife Matters. Plants have been the latest craze. It seems like everyone we know is now buying a new pet plant. In fact, plant owners are now referring to themselves as plantitos or plantitas. And for those of you who might be wondering, what is it with this plant craze nowadays? Well, today we're discussing exactly why plants make really good pets. Now, I grew up with a mom who loves gardening. Wherever we lived, whether it's a house or an apartment, I was always surrounded by plants. We could never not have plants. And we sometimes take these things for granted because we think that they're just ornaments or pieces of decorations, but actually, there's so much more. One of the reasons why plants make really great pets is because they clean the air. Now from grade school, we already know that plants absorb carbon dioxide and give off oxygen. But what a lot of us don't know is that they also absorb a lot of the toxins in the air. Toxins like benzene and formaldehyde. We as humans actually inhale a lot of toxins from the air, which probably come from outdoor emissions like vehicles, factories, and we even ingest toxins in the water that we drink or the food that we eat. Research actually shows that rooms with indoor plants have 50 to 60% less airborne microbes. So that means 50 to 60% less bacteria than rooms that don't have any plants. Plants add more moisture to the atmosphere, and more moisture means higher levels of humidity. And houseplants actually decrease coughs, colds, and flus. Just exactly what we need in this time of pandemic. It's raining so hard. Number two, they have medicinal benefits. They don't just prevent disease, but they can also help in addressing them. A research in Kansas University actually showed that patients who had indoor plants had less anxiety, less pain, and faster recovery time than patients who didn't have plants. Now it makes sense how, you remember in cartoons, whenever there was a sick character, they would always be given a plant as a present. And you know, as kids, we would think, why would you give a sick person a plant? Now it makes sense. Number three, productivity. The University of Michigan actually found out that having indoor plants can increase your memory up to 20%. Having plants around your workspace encourages you to be more productive because it stimulates positive thoughts and good vibes. And number four, they keep us connected to nature. Living in the city sometimes means being completely disconnected to mother nature and having a garden or just, you know, having indoor plants can actually make you feel closer to your roots. Pun intended. So after hearing everything I just said, you're probably thinking, hmm, I'm gonna get myself a plant. But hold up. Before you go impulse buying, there are things that you need to know before you purchase a plant. Number one, it's a living being. So just with any other pet, make sure that you can commit to taking care of it. Different plants need different things, so make sure you give it the proper care it needs for the rest of its life. And how do you do that? Start with number two. Do your research. Like I said, different plants need different things. It's not just about giving it sunlight and water. Some plants have a specific level of humidity that they need to stay alive. Some plants need less water, some plants need more. Some plants need specific kinds of fertilizers, some plants don't. So do your research first to make sure that you know about what it needs and so that you can gauge whether you can commit to taking care of this kind of plant. Number four, check whether it's pet friendly. Chewy, come here. Just like essential oils, some plants can actually be toxic to your pets. Examples of plants that can be toxic to your pets include aloe vera, bougainvillea, cactus, snake plant, and many more. So make sure to do proper research to keep your furry loved ones safe. And number four, go local. Especially if you're a beginner in taking care of plants, start with what's local. Local plants have a much higher chance of survival than imported plants because local plants are already adapted to the climate in our country. Plants that have been brought in from abroad might not have adjusted to the climate yet and so they can actually suffer and die. I think it's amazing how God created nature because everything that we need to survive like food, water, medicine, clothing, all of these things come from nature. All of these things come from plants. And you're probably wondering, why are you talking about plants in Wildlife Matters? You can't teach people to love only animals. 
you have to teach people to also love plants because without plants there wouldn't be animals and without animals there wouldn't be plants like we always say everything is interconnected so remember that plants matter just as much as every piece of wildlife matters <laughs>